Hi, this is Miss Lisa. Today I'm going to bake. What is baking? Baking is a method of preparing food that uses dry heat, normally in an oven, but can also be used in hot ashes or on a hot stone. Today I'm going to be making elephant ears, not real elephant ears. This is an elephant ear. It's cinnamon and sugar and flour. It's really yummy. The elephant ears, you'll need one quarter cup of butter. You'll need one cup of flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters cup of milk, and then you'll need um, three tablespoons of sugar and cinnamon for the filling. I will put them all up so that you guys can access them. You'll need a quarter cup of butter. Cut the butter. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tablespoons. And then down below it says a quarter cup, a third of a cup, a half a cup. So this is a half a cup of, of butter. I don't need a half a cup, I need a quarter of a cup. So on this line, I cut this in half. So now I have two equal halves. Have your parents help you with this. You need to melt the quarter cup of butter in a small pan. Don't want the butter to burn. Okay, the butter's all melted. One cup flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. Make sure they're level. Two tablespoons, a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, baking powder. And level it off. That's what this little that's what this ledge is for, is leveling it off. A half a teaspoon of salt and you mix those together. Stir in a third cup of milk and three tablespoons of the melted butter. One, two, three. And stir that until dough forms. Scrape down the sides with your spoon and you may need to use your hands. It kind of feels like Play-Doh. And you make sure you get all the stuff at the bottom of the bowl like this and all the flour, okay? You flour your surface, lightly flour it so that the dough doesn't stick. I got a little much there, but that's okay. And then you take your ball of dough and you knead it 10 times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, 10. And I put a little more flour that I used all around and I, I make it sort of a little rectangle here in my hands and you can either push it flat with your hands or you can use a rolling pin which also should be floured, which I'll take the flour that's here, and you make it into a rectangle. You need to make it by a, a nine by five rectangle. And you're gonna have to kind of guess at that. 
or you can um, get a ruler. Okay, I roll it out about a quarter of an inch thick. And this is my rectangle. It's a little bit bigger than the nine by five, but that's the best I could do. I take the melted butter, and I don't have a brush, but you can use a brush to do this. And I sprinkle it around, and I use the back of my spoon. Probably a teaspoon would be better. To do this. And I move it around. So the butter's evenly distributed on the dough. Okay, I measured out three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I stir that so that it's nice and evenly mixed. Even means that it's all distributed and there's not one over the other that you can tell. I take a clean spoon and I distribute the sugar and the cinnamon over the buttered dough. Okay, now I've distributed the sugar and the cinnamon and I'm gonna roll it from the short end, this is the short end and this, this, is, this is short end, this is long, and I'm gonna roll it from this end the best I can and I start rolling it up as tight as I can and I'm gonna make a big tube, okay? Okay, it is all rolled up, and then you take and you can cut it into four pieces. But I'm gonna cut it a little bit long more because mine's a little bit bigger, um, a little bit longer than I thought. So, which is okay, because it'll make more. So I'm gonna cut one, two, three, four, five. I got five cuts out of that. I'm gonna spray the cookie sheet so that it's lightly greased. We heat the oven to 425 degrees. And we do this before we mix all of our ingredients so that we have a nice warm oven because this takes a while to warm up. Place the cut side down on the cookie sheet. Then you smash them down like that. And then you sprinkle a little more of that sugar and cinnamon on top. If you've used it all up, then you can just use a little bit more sugar on top of that. It gives it that extra little touch. Then we put them in the oven to bake. Eight to 10 minutes. I put the timer on on the stove, mine has a timer on the stove, and I'm gonna put it in for 10 minutes. Mine cooks a little slower. Okay, I'm gonna turn the oven off, and I'm going to open them up. Ooh, they look good. They should be slightly browned. Then you use a spatula, and you remove, and you put on a wire rack, or if you don't have a wire rack, you can put it on a plate. Come back next week when we'll see what Miss Lisa's going to be up to.